Welcome back for Game 6 of the 1948 Stanley Cup Final. We are at the Olympia, where the Detroit Red Wings could win their fourth Stanley Cup in franchise history at home. Five, if you want to count the 1925 win for the Victoria Cougars that would become the Detroit Cougars, and then in 1931, the Detroit Falcons, and later in the 30s, the Detroit team that you see now. They're ready at ice level. Captain Sillaps and Sid Abel out to take the opening face off. We are two minutes in. Another minute, and the first scoring chance of the game to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Max Bentley getting going early here. From the blue line, unable to put it by Harry Lumley. Four minutes into the game. Six minutes in. A slow start to this one. Up to minute eight, we could have the game's first penalty. It's going to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Howie Meeker. He was in the box in game five. He's not garnering any favor from the officials here. And that will be a Detroit chance on the power play. It's Gordy Howe. Gordy Howe with it in the slot. And folks, at 842, the score here at the Olympia is 1-0. Gordy Howe scores, assisted by Sid Abel and Jack Stewart. We are now 10 minutes into the opening frame. Two more minutes have gone by. Another play stoppage. And a chance for Detroit to extend their lead. Ted Lindsay. He's boxed out. Six minutes to go now in the first period. Where another Detroit chance, like in Game 5. They are cooking with gas early. Don Morrison with it. He was a Game 5 hero. In the slot. It's up to Turk Broda to make the save. Can he see it in behind him? No. Don Morrison scores. Detroit up 2-0. Morrison at 1323. Marty Pavlich picking up an assist on that goal. It's Morrison from Pavlich at 13:23, 2 nothing Detroit. Five minutes to go in the opening period. Detroit just missing out on a chance there, down to four minutes. And another Red Wings chance. Jim McFadden. McFadden from the dot. Broda again. He's having trouble seeing it, but he makes a save. He had to take that one off the choppers. A minute to go here in the period. The Maple Leafs might finally get a break as the Red Wings are going to the box. Sid Abel taking another penalty. And the Red Wings manage to kill the final minute. So, after one period of play, the score, Detroit 2, Toronto nothing. Back for period 2 with the Red Wings up by 2. Fans having a gas here at the Olympia. It's been a swell time thus far, if you are for Detroit. And it looks like the Maple Leafs are going to spoil the second half of their power play. And they're arguing a bunch of gobbledygook, but it looks like Ted Kennedy will be going to the box. So the Red Wings now take to the power play. Narrowly missing on a chance there. 
But here we are, two minutes into period two with the Red Wings up by two. And Don Morrison's been awarded with some power play time for Detroit. Morrison from the point. It's up to Broda again. He took that one off the mug. And he can't see it. The Red Wings have scored here on the power play. They are up 3-0. Don Morrison, a real humdinger in this series. He's emerged as a folk hero. Ladies and gentlemen, time of the goal, a minute 31 in. Morrison from Ted Lindsay, who passed it back. He fed Morrison at the point, and it's Gordie Howe picking up another point. 3-0 Detroit, a minute 31 into the second. Three minutes in now, and the Red Wings could be penalized. And they're off the hook on that one. The Maple Leafs irate. We get a lull. Ended by a Maple Leafs chance. Howie Meeker. Meeker from the dot. Good save, Harry Lumley. To the nine minute mark. And now with nine minutes to go in the second period, could we have another penalty to Toronto? The answer is yes, Jim Thompson. He'll be headed off for a pair. But it's the Maple Leafs shorthanded. Ted Kennedy. And that's saved easily by Lumley. Kennedy ran out of time. Another minute, though, the Leafs manage to kill. And Toronto narrowly misses a scoring chance there. A lot of play stoppages here, time passing slowly. But it will pass over into the hands of the Red Wings, where again... This time leading the charge, Jerry Couture in the slot. And it is a 4-0 Detroit Red Wings hockey game. They are running up a lead. They are grandstanding against Toronto, much like they did in the first half of Game 5. Here at 13:29, the Detroit Red Wings. This is rather unbelievable. But the Red Wings, Jerry Couture... Assisted by Joe Conacher. And that'll be all Couture from Conacher at 13.29. Now with about four minutes to play. Once again, it's the Red Wings. They force Toronto to get a little careless. They're not looking after their own end. Bep Guidolin, but Toronto gets back in time. The defense breaks up the play. And with just a minute to go here in the second period, already looking like Toronto will need the big comeback effort like they made in Game 5. But we will have a Maple Leafs chance. Sill Apps getting into the action. Apps has it in the slot. And what an outstanding save by Harry Lumley. He shuts the door on that one. I almost feel like I have to show you that one as proof, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, that is, by my account... An extraordinary save by Harry Lumley on apps from the slot. And Toronto is out of time here in the second. So it is the Detroit Red Wings here in game six here at the Olympia. Up four, nada, on the Toronto Maple Leafs after two. So we're getting ready to begin play in the third period. And again, if you've just joined us, the Red Wings are up by four over the Toronto Maple Leafs. They are 20 minutes away from their fourth Stanley Cup in Red Wings franchise history. Excluding the Cougars, the Victoria Cougars in 1925. That would later become the Detroit Cougars, then the Detroit Falcons, then the Detroit Red Wings. The Toronto Maple Leafs did manage to score four in Game 5, but by Ford, in my books, they're going to have a much harder time doing that here at the Olympia in the Motor City. We get three minutes off the clock and nothing in the first few minutes of the third period. 
About five have gone by now. Where we get a big rhubarb here at Center Ice. Ted Lindsay, high sticking. He started it by getting his stick up high. And Bill Lesnicki is challenging anyone and everyone in the Detroit Red Wings lineup. No one is obliging him. So it will be the Red Wings to the box for five minutes. Ted Lindsay, he will be the lone recipient. Toronto with a five-minute power play. Detroit has now managed to kill the first four minutes of that power play, but in the final minute, still laps. Still laps from afar. That doesn't beat Lumley, but it generates a rebound. And Ezenicki, ladies and gentlemen, Bill Ezenicki has scored to put the Toronto Maple Leafs on the board with about 10 minutes to play here. They have broken Harry Lumley's shutout bid, but do they have enough time? 4-1 now the score. Apps with the power play goal. Exact time, 9.54. Not a moment too soon on that man advantage. Wally Stanowski, he's been productive. He gets the assist. So, apologies, folks. It's actually Bill Ezenicki. That was off the rebound from Still Apps and Wally Stanowski. Again, time of the goal, 9.54. But the Detroit Red Wings are killing time well. They might have taken a penalty in the process. The Maple Leafs back to the power play, where they will get an opportunity now with about six minutes to play. And folks, will you believe it? I'm going to show you. We have just had a goal scored on a penalty shot. Harry Watson barreling in on goal. I apologize to have to report this to you after the fact. But Harry Watson, the Maple Leafs in fact not on a power play. Watson has been awarded a penalty shot evidently in 1948. And we have a 4-2 game with four minutes to play. Detroit with a chance to close out the series and hoist Lord Stanley here. And the Red Wings also now with the scoring chance. Really looking to put this one away is Jim McFadden. 1948 Calder Trophy recipient. McFadden has it at the dot where he does just that. It's a 5-2 hockey game here. 5-2. That goal coming at 15-30. Jim McFadden. McFadden from Dub McKay. And that'll be all on the goal. McFadden from McKay. Here at 15-30. Sorry, McFadden from McKay again. Guidolin. Guidolin picking up a point there. And the Red Wings again with their excellent play. They've managed to kill a lot of time here. And the Maple Leafs in frustration with just over a minute to go. Jim Thompson. Thompson headed to the box for a couple more. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we can just about stick a fork in this one. It's about done. It's about a gone with a long before it. The Detroit Red Wings, they were down 2-1 in this series. Looks like they are about to make history and for that matter, maybe even change it and come back. Up three games to two in the series with about a minute to play. But it is Toronto with a shorthanded chance in the final minute. They're not going away. Ted Kennedy again out on the kill. And Lumley comes up with the save there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all out of time. They are now gathered here. They are on their feet at the Olympia. 
on their feet at the Olympia. For their team, the Detroit Red Wings have managed to win the 1948 Stanley Cup. I apologize for being in a bit of disbelief and perhaps not reacting emotionally appropriate to the situation. It's still sinking in for me. The Detroit Red Wings here have managed to upend the Toronto Maple Leafs, the 1947 Stanley Cup champion Toronto Maple Leafs. They were looking for back-to-back. -back. The Leafs had finished first overall during the regular season. Though the Detroit Red Wings did have a pretty good campaign in their own right and gave the Maple Leafs some troublesome games. And they've given them more than enough trouble here in the series where... I'll also remark they got very little production from the production line. It takes an entire roster to win a Stanley Cup. You had the likes of Don 